In this video, I'm gonna talk about the old way and how to go through your IT career. You know, the way that it's gonna basically hold you back, not months, years, for you to get to a high paying job in IT. And obviously too, I'm gonna talk about the new way and how to go through your IT career. And I'm gonna give you a few things for you to think about. So I'm gonna ask you for you to be open mind because this can be that one video for you. They can make that difference and you being like, you know what, I never thought of that. Or you know what, I never, Look at it that way. So now I can see how I can get to a good job in IT sooner than later. So let's talk about, you know, that old way. And by the way, this is the way that most people are going through their IT career, like right now. And this is too, the way that I end up going through my IT career. And once again, I didn't know any better. You see, you go to the IT community. You probably end up going to some friends that work in IT. And obviously you ask, you know, for some advice, some guidance on what to do, you know, how to get in IT, you know, how to become a network engineer, how to become a cybersecurity engineer, a cloud engineer, DevOps engineer. And I know because I talk to many people and obviously I help many students to get to a good job in IT. So I know what's going on and I know this video will help you and open your eyes to what can be possible for you. So that old way, if you want to start your IT career in IT, you obviously have to get your CAMP TIA A+. Plus. You have to do that. If you are new in IT, this is exactly what you need to do. And also, on top of that, you need to get your Network Plus. And now that you are at it, might as well get your Security Plus. Now combine these three because that's exactly what I end up doing myself. I didn't know any better, so that's exactly what I end up doing because that's exactly what everyone told me to do. It will take probably, if you do it the right way, meaning going through the content, the information, and taking the time to really learn you know the topics? It will probably take you about six months, four up to six months, depending on the time that you are putting in, right? Now, other people may say, well, if you wanna become like a cyber security engineer or probably like a cloud engineer, this is exactly what you need to do, right? You need to get your CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Certification. And that's that one. And that's what many people are doing right now. Other people probably focus on well, I want to be a cloud engineer, so I'm going to get my cloud class certification. Or you know what? If you want to become a cloud engineer, this is what you can do. You know, get your AWS certification or get your Azure for Microsoft, right? Or your Google Cloud certification. You know, that's how you go about it. And it makes sense, right? If I want to become a cloud engineer, obviously, let me focus on cloud IT certifications. If I want to become a cybersecurity engineer, obviously, you know, go and get your, those cybersecurity IT certifications. Well, let me tell you, that's not how it works. Not because you get one, two, three IT certifications, someone is going to give you a job as a cloud engineer or a cybersecurity engineer. That's not how it works. The IT market, they are lying to you on how to go about it. And a lot of the time and focus that you are putting in, it's on something that probably gets you an entry level job. And that's probably because many people, even though they have this, don't have a job in IT. If you really take a look at the market and what's going on right now, like a step back and look at what's going on, you're gonna find out there are many people. They have their A+, plus, Network+, plus, Security+, plus, and don't have a job in IT. And many of them, they end up getting one entry-level job. Now you probably be like, well, that makes sense. If I'm new in IT, obviously an entry-level job, that, that, will, that will be good. No, an entry-level job, that pays about forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. That's not good. Based on how the economy is right now, it's not good. Why not get to a job that's gonna pay you sixty-five, seventy-five thousand dollars $75,000? Why not get to that job, first job in IT? And I know you're probably thinking, I wish. Man, I wish I can do that. I mean, Jorge, they are, I know people, like I know people that start the IT career with entry-level jobs and they're basically with a salary of about, about $40,000, $50,000. So how is that? Someone is able to get to $65,000, $70,000 and a good job, not an entry-level job. Well, many of my students have done it and I know other people that have done it too. You just have to be more open about what can be possible for you and question 
the things that you are doing and how you are going through your IT career. And this is exactly what's going on. This is once again, the old way for you to go through your IT career. Now, for those that are probably paying 10, $20,000 and those IT programs, nobody's gonna hire you just because you end up going through a program because everyone focus on technical. Everyone focus on IT certifications. And basically what that means is you are no different compared to someone else because you end up doing exactly what everyone else is doing. You can go to the market, the IT market. And if you reach out to people that are barely starting their IT career, you're gonna find out they're doing exactly what you're doing. So my question to you, how is that you're gonna differentiate yourself from everyone else when you end up going through the job interview process? Because the way that you're gonna go about it, the same as everyone else. That certification that you got, the same as everyone else. The way, and listen to this, the way that you're gonna answer the question they're gonna ask you, you're gonna answer them the way as everyone else. So you cannot compete when you end up doing exactly what everyone else is doing. So this is not the way to go. This is the old way. This is a way that's gonna hold you back. They're gonna get probably stuck in your IT career. You have to be more smart on how you go about it. And once again, that was me too. I didn't know any better. My first job in IT, entry level job. My second job in IT, an entry level job. My third job in IT, an entry level job. Even though my second job in IT paid me more than my first job. And yes, my third job in IT paid me more than my second job. But all three jobs, entry level jobs. I didn't know any better. So how is that? Like my students, many of them end up getting a good job in IT. 60, 65, 70, 75 K. First job in IT, even though many of them don't have a bachelor's degree. Completely new in IT. And many of them do not have any camp theatrifications. And yes, I'm the one big enemy of camp theatrifications, you know, for you to start your IT career. So once again, we just end up going through an the old way of doing things. Now let's talk about the new way, the modern way, because obviously you want to get to a high paying job in IT sooner than later, right? Would you rather have a conversation, advice from someone that has been working in IT for seven years and finally got to $120,000 in IT. But have this in mind, you probably, you know, 120, 130K, that's good. And yes, that's a good income, but you're getting advice and guidance from someone that took seven years to get there. Why not talk to one of my students that were able to do that in less than two years? You see the difference? Seven years compared to two years. Same income, probably same position. What's the difference? The way that you go about it. Now my question to you is, in the next year, in the next two years, how much do you want to earn? How much? Because yes, I'm probably one of those few guys that's gonna tell you that money matters a lot. How much you earn matters a lot. And I don't care how old are you. You're probably in your early 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. It doesn't matter. It matters a lot how much you earn. So why not get to a high paying job in IT sooner than later? But obviously that's for you to know more about how to go about it. And my biggest advice is do not go through it the way that most people are going through it. And you probably, so how I'm gonna be, how I'm gonna find out that, like the way that most people go through it? Because you can just go to the IT community and ask, do you have any advice, any guidance for me on what to do and how to get my first job in IT or how to upgrade that job that I have now to a better one. And more likely they're gonna tell you the same thing. A lot of it, most of it, focus on the next IT certification. And that's when you'll be like, oh, now it makes sense. Everyone is telling me to do the same thing. The difference is some guys told me to get this one IT certification, some others told me to get this other IT certification, and some others to get this other IT certifications. But at the end of the day, the same guidance and advice. That's exactly what you need to like run away from. So now let's talk about this new way. Because once again, how much you earn matters a lot. And not just for yourself, but for your family. So once again, I'm gonna put it right here. 
how much you earn matters. So let's talk about this new way and how to do it. Okay. And once again, I'm the enemy number one and come the atrophications. So what do you do? This is the first thing that you need to do. And this is the new way to go about it. And if you if you've been following me on social media and my YouTube channel, you probably know a lot of this and what I'm going about to go through. But you see, I don't go any other way because this is how it works. The first thing that you need to do is to focus on this. This is number one, how to learn. That's exactly what you do first. Take the time to find out more about how your mind learns, how your mind processes the information that you are going through, the videos, the book, when you listen to any audio books or anything related to audio, when you do labs, when you do even research, most people don't even know how to do that. And you're probably thinking, what do you mean, Jorge? Research is just research. No, there is a way of doing it and that's an effective way of doing it. And every time I ask people, how do you go about doing research? They're like, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What I mean? Like, yeah, there's a ways on how to do research. Let me ask you, how are you going through the videos that you are going through right now? What do you mean? Yeah, how are you going through the videos that you are going through right now? What do you mean? Yeah, they, what, what do you do? Well, I just push play. I go through them. I pay attention. I take notes. I mean, what else is to it? A lot. You see, you have no idea how to learn. This is why you take a week. You probably take two. You probably take three, depending on the time that you have. That's one of the things that I used to have this kind of coach. Well, more like a mentor. Like the first thing that you need to do is just that. Focus on that. And that's exactly what I did many years back. And that changed completely how I went to my IT career. So that's number one, how to learn. The process of learning how to learn, okay? Now, the other thing that you have to do when you're new in IT, you have to get your Cisco CCNA. Now, if you are new, like you have no knowledge at all in between the CCNA, you have to go through the network plus, okay? But the way that you go about it matters because right now there are many people, there are many of them. They have their Cisco CCNA and don't have a job in IT. You know, sometimes people reach out to me and be like, you know, Jorge, I end up doing what you said. I got my CCNA. I apply on many jobs. I end up going through that job interview process a few times and don't have a job. So I don't know what to do to do next, man. Like you, you said a CCNA. I'm like, no, it's not about getting the CCNA. It's the way that you go about getting it. So it's not about what to do. That's step number one. But e everyone forget about a step number two. So step number one is what to do. Okay, now I know what to do. I need to get my Cisco CCNA. Now number two is how I'm gonna go about it and get it. The way that I'm gonna approach, I'm getting my Cisco CCNA, that's exactly what's gonna matter a lot and how I'm gonna go through the job interview process and get my first job in IT. Or for me to upgrade the job that I have now to a better one. So once again, now because you have the CCNA, you're gonna get a job. No, the way that you go up out and getting it how you're gonna go and learn the topics how you're gonna go and process that information because listen to this if you cannot storytell if you cannot educate if you cannot present what you have learned in this case the ccna to other people in a way that you can put a picture in their mind and be able to go through various scenarios based on what they're looking for based on what they want based on what you end up learning here that means that you don't know shit. and now you become like everyone else why because the new way it says you focus on this and you focus on things that people don't talk about and i'm gonna go to them really quick here one of them that you probably know is again that's one skill how to learn the other is here a skill a storytell you need to learn about a storytelling what's the other one that people don't know anything about and that's based on how to influence people how to have a conversation in order for you to influence, in order for you to persuade the other person. You know, because you have to know how you're gonna go about and position yourself in the market. How you're gonna go about and selling yourself to them. And a lot of it has to do on how you're gonna influence and persuade that conversation. Obviously, you're gonna end up going through the job interview process. They're gonna ask you questions. Some of them, there will be technical questions, some others, non-technical. The way that you go about it, that's how you're gonna be able to connect with them, for them to relate to you, because if they don't like you, like really well, you will not get the job. If you don't know how to position yourself in a way that they think of you, not that you know something, you will not get hired because people may think of you, oh, this guy, this individual knows. No, 
The way that you get a job is when people can see, can tell, this individual can get the job done. People have no idea on how to do that. Oh, I know how to do it. Really? Like really? Because most people don't. Because no one told them on how to go about going through this process. So this is really the new way about doing it because you have to differentiate yourself and a way for you to do that. It focus once again on these high paid skills. The other one and how you're gonna market yourself in the market. People once again don't know how to do that because the only thing they think about is what's the next IT certification that I need to go through, that I need to get? What are the next questions that I need to memorize in order for me to get certified because that's the reality that it's going on right now and the funny thing is that IT hiring managers recruiters engineers know better they can tell if you are a full of BS or if you really know the topics. People can tell when they look at the resume, yeah? We have another of those people that have a ton of IT certifications by memorizing the questions next and then you'll be like what the hell is going on i end up going through the job interview process a few times no one called me back and the ones that call me back they're like thank you but no thank you like what's going on i've been doing everything that everyone told me i got my a plus my network plus you know i got all these it certifications like what's going on because once again you're going through your it career the old way you do not take the time to do it that new way you know i'm learning these high paid skills and be able to combine these skills with the it certifications that you are going through and i do not care then let me tell you the last thing i don't care i really don't if you want to become a network engineer a cyber security engineer a cloud engineer or devops engineer i do not care this is how you start because what you need to think about is how i'm gonna go and get my first job in it and to make sure that the first job it's not it's not it's not an entry level job i don't care if i have my brother i don't take if i have my father i don't take if i have all my friends all society tell me that that's the way to go with an entry level job you say fuck you but no i'm gonna do it the right way the smart way not the old way that most people go through it and that's when you're getting a good job that's gonna pay you 60 70k a year and on top of just that income that job because obviously you want a job a good job that will help you to become more valuable to the it market that way you upgrade to the job to a better one to an engineer level position but you see once you get that first job in it now you can go and do whatever you want if you want to become a cloud engineer that first job that you get in your it career not an entry level job a good one will matter for you to get to the network engineer uh cloud engineer network engineer you do the same thing devops engineer you do you see you start the same and then you can branch out and do whatever you want but there is a process on how you go about it and this is what i'm going to ask you if you have any questions one in the comments and i make sure to get back to you and i get it the advice and guidance that i have my way of doing things is not for most people I'm looking for those they want to make shit happen. They want results, not bullshit. Why? Because once again, money matters a lot. How much you earn in your IT career matters. And I had students that were able to get to a six-figure income. 120, 160, 180, 200K in less than two years. Some of them, one job, 130K in less than two years. Some others combining two jobs working from home, 160, 180, 200K. So why not you? Why not you? I know why. Because you prefer to do it the old way. That way it's safe for you. You see, sometimes you need to get out of your comfort zone. This is no BS. Everything that I'm going through with you right now, it's based on fast results, not BS. So now it's up to you. If you have any questions, go in the comments and make sure I get back to you. If you're ready to do that one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, you know what to do. But now, I'll let you know better, right? You can compare the old way or the new way. It's up to you. And if you want to go through it the new way and you want to do it on your own, at least now you know better on how to go about it. That way you focus on the things that will allow you to do that. And now you're going through it the way that most people go through it because right now the market is getting very competitive. So you have to find a way for you to completely differentiate yourself from everyone else. And this new way will allow you to do that. So that's all I have. If you're ready, you know what to do. Apply for the coaching program. Take care and I will talk to you soon.